everybody, it's the end of the month, which means two things. One, that I have to pay my rent. Yay, being a responsible adult and paying bills. And two, that means that I get to share with you my February favorites and not so much favorites. So I'm gonna start off with my favorites and I'll start off with my favorite hair product that I've actually been using. So the first thing I have is the Ojun Color Stay Glossy Finish Hairspray. I got this at Sephora a while ago. I actually really, really love it. It's actually empty now, so I have to go pick up another one, but this is a gloss finish hairspray. It's specifically for color treated hair, and if you guys have followed me on any social media, you know that I like to color my hair. I've had it ombre, I've had it black, blonde, red, permed anything so I got this at Sephora a while ago and it's actually completely empty now so I'm going to read you what's on the back of this and then explain to you why I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This wondrous weightless finishing spray for color treated hair is not only keeping styles under control it actually boosts hair natural shine and radiance. So pretty much what I love about this hairspray is that there is ocean oil which preps your hair and then Tahitian Manai which enhances softness and sheen so it's a glossy hair finish that has UV in it so it protects your hair from damaging sun sprays and if you're like me you live in a very sunny climate especially in Southern California or South Florida or anytime during the summer you would like UV in your hairspray so that your hair doesn't get completely damaged by the sun. I also love this. It has a really awesome smell to it. So I'm just gonna. And it smells really yummy. It's like this fruity, awesome, fantastic smell. Um, and you can actually put it in your hair when it's wet so that when you blow dry it out. I just love how it smells so yummy. Um, I don't remember how expensive this was. I believe you can look it up, but as always, there's always gonna be a list of products listed below in the down bar, so you guys can check out where you can find this as well as how much it costs for it. I'm probably gonna get the bigger size because this is only 1.8 ounces. The next thing I have for you guys is the Sumatsa Body Butter from The Body Shop. This is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scents. And now that it's out of the winter and fall time, I definitely go back to more fruity and floral scents for all of my body sprays, things like that. I usually keep this in my purse because sometimes my hands can get a little dry or sometimes even after I wash my hands they'll just not feel right and I'll feel like I need to moisturize them and this is definitely purse size it smells fantastic absolutely one of my favorite scents from the body shop and you guys will see that I have seriously used this up so looks like a little smiley face so definitely one of my favorite scents um, this is the small size, so I use this when I travel, I use this when I'm out for the whole day, so definitely one of my favorite scents. And now that's February and it's starting to get warm out, I've definitely been using this quite a bit more. Going into my makeup stuff now that I've been really loving is definitely the Real Techniques brushes. If you guys don't know the story behind these, these were designed by Pixie Wu on YouTube, Samantha Chapman. I mentioned them before, these are my absolute favorites. I got the foundation, uh, the Expert Face Brush, which I use for foundation, and this month I got the Blush Brush, which I am, I love this. It's so soft, it works perfectly right on the apples of your cheeks. They stand up on their own, they're very easy to clean, and they're just fantastic. Pick these up if you haven't, you can get them online, you can also get them at Ulta, which is where I get them. The next thing is actually something I got a while ago. I didn't use it until this month. Um, I actually got this from my mom because the shade is too dark for her, but I have hit bare minerals. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I was doing before life without this. This is an absolutely fantastic product. Um, my mom's been using it for a very long time. I mostly have been using just NYX foundations for the past uh, about a year now, but I am so in love with this. This is in the medium shade which also has a SPF of 15 in it which is awesome and this as you guys know is a mineral foundation I use this with my Real Technique Expert Face Brush buff it all over my face and it gives me a completely airbrushed beautiful look I do not know what I was doing before I used this this is definitely like ha ah, it's up there and I actually have used it when I use my tinted moisturizer from e.l.f. as a base and then I'll go over this just to kind of make it less shiny and it works absolutely fantastic. I love this. This is fantastic. I don't know what I was doing before I didn't use this. 
Also under the face category, I definitely go with the That Girl Primer, the brightening face primer from Benefit that I got in my little mini pack. This thing is amazing. It definitely brightens my skin. I notice a difference. Um, I still have a good amount of it left because I haven't been putting in a whole lot of makeup recently, but this is something that once I am out of the travel size, I will definitely be going and getting a full size of this. It is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Next, I only have three more like beauty-esque hits that I absolutely love. The first is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It is absolutely one of my favorite things. I use it on my lash line if I want to add an extra prop. Excuse me. Use it on my lash line when I want to add an extra pop of color. I use it on my inner corners if I want to add a little bit of brightness. I've used it as a white eyeliner underneath my eyes. Super smooth. This is fantastic. Pick this up. Find it in your Ulta. Find it online. This is definitely essential to have in your kit. This is the Auto Eyebrow Pencil, and I have it in medium brown. Now, I actually mix this with my Wet n Wild and Dark Brown to kind of like add a little bit to my eyebrows, which has been a new thing for me because normally I didn't really touch my eyebrows before because my eyebrows are kind of funky because when I get stressed, I, I don't know why, but like I obsessively rub my face and my eyebrows get affected by that. So this is a great shade. I wish this was a little bit darker so I didn't have to blend it with the Wet n Wild, but I do really love it. It's a beautiful color. I think oh, now that it's getting a little bit brighter out and my hair is starting to get much lighter because of the sun, my eyebrows will hopefully get a little bit lighter so I can definitely use this. And I love the brush at the end. This brush is fantastic. Um, I definitely can add just a little bit of my clear gel once I've put everything on, brush it all over, and it works so well. So the last beauty product that I am absolutely obsessed with this month is Maybelline's Baby Lips. These are the best things. I have it in the cherry flavored. It's absolutely one of my favorite things. I use this, I've used it in actually a new tutorial, which will be coming out later this week. Love that you can literally just go a little bit on. It smells great. It definitely moisturizes your lips for a very long time. It's something I keep in my purse at all times. Um, a lot of YouTube gurus that I watch have been using these for a very long time and I was having a bad day and I went and I picked this up at CVS and it, I don't know why, but it just, it made me feel pretty. I guess I will go into my now non-beauty favorites. Um, the first thing is my brand new wallets. These are awesome. I got these. Ryan Murphy tweeting. I got these at Rue 21 when I went to the mall with my friends Michelle and Tanya who were here from the UK. These are iPhone wallets that you actually can put your iPhone in as well as an ID. It has a hole for your headphones and for the charging port. Um, I'm not going to show you the other side of this because it actually is the one I'm using right now. Um, but you can see that this is a really cute one and it has all these awesome zebra hearts on this blue background and I just love it and it actually matches my YouTube theme a little. So it was like two for $10, which is awesome. I also got another wallet where if you follow me on Instagram, I have posted all three of them so you can see what they look like. So, and then this one, I very much call this my Mia wallet because it just reminds me of like Mia Von Glitz and Charlene Kay and all those badass female rockers that I know. So as you can see, it is a foily metallic silver lips on a black kind of fuzzy background. So love these wallets and it replaced my old shoe wallet that I had at Target for a while, which is great. It just, it was a pain in the butt to have a lot of stuff in it. I only really have two beauty bombs this month. There's another bomb that I'm going to talk about after this video. So let's get started. The first bomb would be the hydrating makeup cleansing tissues from Forever 21 that I got. They were like $3 for two packs. These do not remove your makeup that well. I have to use at least two when I have a full piece of foundation on and I just feel like they're not super thick so they're not super strong. Um, I mean, yeah, they'll help remove like lipstick and like if you have a little bit of blush on it, but these are not great for like deep cleaning all of your makeup off. This is kind of if you're like spot cleaning after you have a little screw up of like under eye stuff, this is definitely okay, but these are not really good makeup wipes. It's weird because they used to have the silver pack, which is like the rose or the lavender scented ones, and those ones worked really, really well. I guess it's just the hydrating ones don't really work that well. And my massive, massive, massive beauty bomb of this month is the 
wet n wild mega last liquid lip color and this is in cherry on top this is the grossest thing i've ever used it's supposed to be like one of those liquid lipsticks but it just ugh. like it looks so pretty on your hand it looks so pretty on your hand but it just was so nasty on my lips i'll show you this is gonna be so gross it feels nasty. Like it absolutely feels nasty. I don't know why I have this on. I guess it's just to show you. It doesn't feel like lipstick. It like leaves a waxy taste and it, I didn't put it anywhere near my tongue or my teeth. And my entire mouth feels like it's like covered in wax, which is gross. If I wanted a liquid lipstick, I would save up and I would get a different one because these are not good like this is just oh it sucks because it's such a pretty color but I don't like it like my lips are sticky now and it feels like crap and I hate that and it's nasty and oh like this is me using one of my deep cleansing like I have one of the um CBS Day daily facials which are essentially oil uh oil Olay ones that's wiping off and it stains it is so gross. Like, ugh. Like, you have to rub so hard to get it off. And just, my mouth feels nasty now. Uh, why did I put this on? Like, it's sticky. Straight up sticky. Let's see if I put my baby lips on top of it. I don't feel any better.